All right, so what we got here? It's the 6G pipe test, super coupon. What I'm showing you is the, uh, the beads that I ran. Don't worry about the number of beads, guys, because uh, a lot of people try to say or like to say, hey, you got too many beads. Listen, in the field, uh, that's common to see a five bead cap because here in a minute, I'll actually show you what the, uh, what the, uh, the root opening looked like with a 532 gap. You got a, it's a wide gap in the middle. I'll show you in a second, but here's the, the setup. And uh, I'm going to start to show you exactly how I cut this coupon, the easiest way, the most efficient way to do this. So hang in there. I'm going to take you on a ride. So as you, as you basically can see, some people mention on some of the videos, they say, why do you have so many uh, stringers? Now, take a look at the pipe and look at the gap opening. There you have it, using a 532 gap and this heavy wall pipe. Sometimes you're gonna have to do more than just two or three stringers. So whenever you get out in the field, you'll see for yourself. And that's not a big deal. You may have learned one thing inside your trade school, but it's another thing when you get out in the field. Okay, so there you have it. That's why I have more than the average amount of stringers. And that's common. That's common in the field to see a, uh, a test, 6G test, heavy wall with more than three stringers, more than four stringers. It's all in your preference. The QC is looking for quality. He want to see that you can weld without a bunch of undercut and so on and so forth. And, of course, you know, they don't want you to go too far out of the weld zone. But five stringers, hey, it's no problem. You're not too far out of the weld zone. Um, everything will work out well. There you have it. All right, so again, here's the 6G Super Coupon test. What I'm doing here is showing you that I made my cuts parallel to the chalk lines I made. This particular strap has to be three eighths of an inch okay and what you want to do is make sure that you leave a little metal intact at the bottom so that strap won't fall all the way through it's important that you hold that grinder parallel to your cut cut straight down follow that chalk line that you would have made to the best of your ability leave a little metal intact at the bottom and it's very important that you don't angle your metabo because you don't want to end up with a cut that's not straight you'll end up with something like a ramp or something like that if you can imagine what I'm saying you want those cuts to go straight through that way leaving your strap all the way down with that cut you want it to make sure it's at least three-eighths of an inch all the way through so again you don't want to angle that blade so you have two straps on each side. Make sure you leave a little metal intact so that, again, a uh, strap won't fall all the way through. Because if you cut all the way through, then your coupon's gonna fall apart. So that's very important. Remember, angle and leave metal at the end. And just make sure you um, don't angle that uh, Matabo and you'll do fine. All right, so now we're at the final stages of this cutting through of this coupon. So as you can see, those pieces are fine pieces, 3 8 7 inch. And as you can see where I left some of the metal intact at the bottom. Now, let me pick it up. Yeah, so there you go. That's one strap. And when you cut that coupon like that, as you can see, it pretty much stays intact. So this is the best way to do it. Make sure those cuts are straight. As you can see, there's that slot right there. Where that red arrow is pointing, it's straight down. Now I'm going to pull out the uh, second strap. Alright. Now there we go. We're going to work that out of there. 
You see, that's why it's important that you leave a little metal intact at the bottom. All right, that's the second strap I got. That's those are number three and number four. As you can see, that's number three. Okay, I'm holding number two. No. There you go. I'm going to work it out. As you can see, those cuts are straight. Three eighths of an inch. Hey, and again, this is the best way to cut your coupon. You don't want to take the coupon down and then have to hold it in the vise and then you end up cutting the chain on the uh, the tripod you want it to be nice safe everything smooth selling so this is the best way to do it believe it or not believe it that's number four that would be the fourth strap and as you begin to uh, disassemble this coupon by pulling your straps out the way it falls apart, um, it does it in a uh, fashion that, that's not too messy, as you can see. This will be my last strap, and pretty much you got a good portion of the pipe still intact. That's my last strap right there. Nice even cut. As you can see, I did not hold that Matabo at an uh, angle. You can see that cut straight down. It's 3 8 7 inch all the way down from top to bottom. And here's the finished product. Yep. There you go. It's that easy. 3 8 7 inch. Those are straight cuts. And what we're going to be doing here is... Uh, pretty much round in those corners you want to take away that uh, sharp edge and I'm going to show you that here in a second but that's pretty much four straps that's what that's what the QC is looking for okay we're gonna those sharp corners right here and point at you're gonna round them you're not gonna worry about the cap that's not important you're pretty much going to leave that cap intact and leave that root intact because again we're not doing a root bend or nor are we doing a um, uh, a face bend we're going to do a side bend there you go right there that's the zone that they're going to be testing side bends so that's what's important so again you don't have to take that that cap all the way down you don't have to mess with the cap excuse me <clears throat> All you got to do is make sure that those edges right there I was just pointing at are round. You want to round that corner. You don't want to have a sharp edge. All right, so what I'm showing you here, okay, you want to round those corners. Pretty much this is the, the part where you got to pay attention. You want to round those corners, those edges. As you can see, it's not an edge. It's a smooth, rounded corner. It's not sharp like that right there. You want to make sure you take away that sharp corner. QC will get on you about that. Okay, that's important. Whenever you're bending this uh, strap, you want it to go nice and smoothly. You don't want any rough edges. And also, when you get ready to uh, use that uh, tiger paw, you want to uh, grind in the same direction that strap is going to bend. There you go. It's going to bend like a bow. So you want to hold that grinder from side to side. So again, I want to make sure that you understand that you don't want to hold that grinder with that tiger paw. You don't want to grind that way. You want to make sure you grind in the direction that that strap will bend side to side. So this is the finished product. As you can see, I grind it down on each side, flat side. A lot of times you got a little bit of room you can play with it where you, if you do see a mild imperfection, you could kind of be careful, but you want to take the tiger paw along the whole length of that strap okay but what I'm showing you here is as you can see I rounded the corners you want that whole strap to be rounded all the way around those corners rounded from top to bottom and again you don't have to worry too much about the uh, 
the root or the cap. Okay, sometimes you might have a little bit of bump that you, as you just saw, a bump at the top. That's where the cap was. So pretty much what I'm getting ready to show you is the process the QC go through of bending the um, the straps. Now, what I just showed you throughout this video that we were viewing and going over, these straps that I'm getting ready to show you on this video is not the actual test that I took at that particular plant. So these are two different plants. Unfortunately, I'm not able to bring a video camera phone or whatever, a video camera, period, into this facility. So I'm just going to show you how this process goes whenever you um, uh, are ready to, um, to bend your straps. So at this particular project, we had four tests, and this is what I'm getting ready to show you. We call this the heartbreaker. This is what we call the heartbreaker. Okay. That's a good one. So we actually have four tests. Three scheduled, well, scheduled four to stainless, scheduled ten stainless. 6 inch schedule 40 and 2 inch schedule 40 all been tanked. Like I said, it's in a heartbreaker right now. Uh oh! Hey! Number one. Yep. Uh -oh. Pipe number two, seven forty. Good. Yeah, baby. 